I honestly think that there's a home clock in him so many people's favorites videos but for good reason i'm not gonna tell you guys to spend a hundred dollars on an alarm clock unless it's worth it and it is but i have seen a lot of dupes of this and like inexpensive types i just got this as a gift like a year and a half ago and i love it i wasn't fully convinced to spend my own money on it but now that i've had it and using it this has been a game changer this is what my app looks like so what you just saw was my morning routine that I have set. So it's 8 a.m. This is a sound that you hear, sunrise, color of the light. So let me show you what it looks like. When I turn it off, you can... I'm not saying it's an absolute need, but if you want to spend the money, it's worth it. Whitney Simmons always wears these zip ups at all of her workouts basically and I bought one just to see if like I needed it you know or if I was just like falling into another TikTok trend gonna get me to buy something but I love these these are the best zip ups ever they're from Randy Melville I need to get them in every color because I literally wear this every day to the gym but I just love how big it is it's so comfy easy to put on take off they are just the best zip ups ever. I mean, obviously, there are nicer zip ups than this, but for the price, for the price, they're pretty good. thing we need to add is a little bit of maple syrup and I just use this one from Trader Joe's because they have like inexpensive maple syrups and I think that they still taste good. Maple syrup has easily become my favorite sweetener not only for my matchas but just like in general I'm adding maple syrup to everything. I've been liking it over agave, over honey, even over vanilla a lot of the time because it just adds perfect amount of sweetener. Oh okay. We are like filled to the brim. I might need to. Mm. So, so good. Just matcha milk and maple syrup. That's been my go to. This favorite's a little harder to show you because I usually do this with no clothes on. But it's my little secret to uh, glowing, soft moisturized skin. I've always been someone that doesn't like the feel of lotion on my skin. Like I don't like most moisturizers, but I love this trick because you don't feel like sticky and like you have too much product on. So right when you get out of the shower, you're going to take a little bit of lotion and a little bit of body oil. You can use whichever ones you want, but these two are the ones that I've been using and I love them. And they also don't have a lot of fragrance to them, which I don't like to have a bunch of different scents on me. So I like this is like just to moisturize. You're gonna mix that all together and while your body is still kind of damp from your shower you're gonna rub both of those in so it kind of mixes the lotion with the oil with the water spreads out the product a little bit more. I usually do this like immediately immediately after the shower so I'm like kind of already a little bit dry right now but it's all right. I just keep going back and forth. A little lotion, a little body oil and then this one is for when I go out. I don't do this every day but if you guys saw me post this picture on Instagram, like why does my skin look so glowy? Let me show you. This Summer Fridays product is the Summer Fridays Full Time Glowing Body Oil. Oh, where has this stuff been all of my life? I've tried so many different body oils, shimmering things, and I just like never stick to one. I'm always just like, eh, like whatever, I can go without it. No, this, like if I don't put this on before I leave, oh, I am sad. I'm sad because I could have looked so glowy and nice and tan and yummy delicious, but I'm just missing out on that every single time I forget to put this on. It's amazing and it smells like vanilla. Oh, it's sexy. It's sexy. I'm just saying. I usually don't just put this on like any random day, but today we're doing it just to, just to show you guys. You just are so glowy and smell so good. Usually on days like this, I would just put my hair in a slick bun and like call it a day. But I want to share with you my favorite dry shampoo and it's perfect to do it when my hair is like super dirty to show you its full effect. 
Living Proof Dry Shampoo is the absolute best dry shampoo I've ever, 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 ever used. Ever used. Hands down, I've used so many. This is the best one. And just give her a little shush, you know? Like, look at that. And I'm literally an oil flick. Do you think I'm lying to you? Do you think I'm on here spreading lies, guys? No. It's the best. While that does its magic, I'm gonna share with you my recent favorite hair routine that I've been doing. I'm gonna take a pretty good size barrel and slide down. That. I don't really know what that's called. It's basically kind of like warming up the first part of your hair. Wrapping it, slide, wrap, slide, wrap, hold, there. Curling is done, now we're gonna style it. All I use is this little clip, do a little half up, half down, then you're going to twist and just clip right here underneath the twist so then all the curls kind of go over and it looks like a little half a puff down. This is nothing revolutionary. Like I'm not teaching anything, anything crazy, but if you've seen my hair like this, this is basically, basically what I'm doing. Benetton has quickly become one of my favorite, all time favorite makeup products, especially for summer because it just adds like a perfect little rosy tint. It lasts a while and honestly, like it's so easy to work with. I just blend it out with a brush. You can also use your fingers too. Put some on your lips. Like it's just so fun and flirty. Did I add too much? I don't care. Another little product, why not? Shout out. Image. Image skincare, a balancing lip enhancement complex. Honestly, best lip product I have ever used. I don't know what that was. Okay, fun. One thing that is for sure not on my favorites list is all this June gloom that we've been getting. Well, it's not. It's not even June yet. It's like May. It, it's coming early for some reason. But back to a favorite of the month is oh sprouts sandwiches are definitely hello focus i need you guys to see this they will always and forever be on my favorites list because one they're inexpensive five bucks and you can fill it with however many veggies and toppings you want you can get it toasted look at that nice little nice little panini marks Ooh, sourdough tuna salad tomatoes pickles and lettuce then some of the best chips on the whole entire planet. I'm telling you, these taste just like Cool Ranch Doritos. Yes, half the bag is air, but like, it's America, what can I say? They're insane. Lastly, grand finale. This right here is my holy trinity. A good sandwich, a good little probiotic bath, some chips, you guys, a good time, not this gloom. If it was sunny outside, I don't know what I would do with myself. One of my favorite things to do recently is to go into stores and just kind of browse while having my headphones on. I take my headphones off as soon as I leave the store so I'm like safe and everything. But while I'm in the store, I feel safe just like browsing the aisles and listening to music and it honestly has been so so relaxing calming as well i don't really i used to listen to a podcast now i just listen to music and float through the aisles and have some alone time today i went to barnes and noble because i wanted to get one book but i ended up leaving with two. First off i went in there for the creative act a way of being and this book it's by rick rubin and it basically is just his thoughts surrounding 
art, being an artist, being a creator. It has 78 areas of thought surrounding habits, seeds, subconscious, momentum, crafting, point of view, the abundance mindset. I'm so excited to read this and I've been wanting to just read more, write more, draw more, create more, and I think that this book will be perfect to just like tap into that and I don't know. We'll see what Mr. Rick's got to say. I saw this book. It's called Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. Another book that I've seen everywhere. This one is a memoir and I just heard that it's really good for women that are in their 20s. It talks about, she talks about like bad dates. There's like random recipes in between here. Just like a fun, I think lighthearted read. Don't take my word for it. That's just what I've like heard online. I'm excited to have more of like a fun read and then a read that'll be really good for like my job and just like me in general. Kind of like self-help and then fun. One of my new favorite things to do at night to unwind and relax is to light candles and listen to Daniel Caesar. Something about this combination. Also to put like my red lights on. I haven't put them on just yet because I'm still, I'm still like walking around doing things. But this combination is the most relaxing and it's really what I've been looking forward to at the end of my day. I just know that I get to relax and I get to set the mood of my room and like just like sit in my little sanctuary, my little peace. My skincare routine is super, super simple. I use a simple cleanser, simple moisturizer, and then I just use a face oil. I always use the Summer Fridays Heavenly face oil. Kind of put a lot on because I want to get it all on my face and on my neck. I start to kind of massage. I want to get everything like opened up and moving around my face, my neck down my armpits and then I take my gua sha which I told you guys that I wanted to get back into using this and I have recently this feels so so good at the end of my day just to get everything like moving around in my face draining out I look forward to it every single night now when before I was like Ugh, I need a gua sha I need a gua sha but now it's like I have to because I just love the way that it feels, especially around my eyes. It, like relieves all of the tension and stress from my day. And it's so nice. Like guys, there are trends that I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need it. Like I don't, screw it. I don't need it. But this, this is such a good addition into your life. It is such a good self-care thing to do give yourself a little facial massage move things around relieve all your stress like it feels so good you'll thank yourself i also want to say that you don't need a gua sha you can also use your fingers for this by like creating a little you know a little i don't know I don't know chicken claw and massaging your face that way you don't need this you don't need to buy something you can do it right now I'm gonna go to sleep now but let me know if you guys liked watching this type of favorites video kind of different than just like sitting down and telling you guys what I've been loving this month I'd rather like show you but it was fun, like vlog style. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video.